episode three minimalist oh no yes okay so this was inspired by the beta minimalist mod obviously the first chapter the beginning of the arctic whose turn is it let's say mine <laughs> okay Oh, the helicopter's getting shot down. Was this an ice pick? Yeah. The crowbar blew up in the explosion. Okay, shattered then. into a million pieces. I'm assuming this is going off of uh, Mark Laidlaw's Epistle 3 script. Where'd Alex go? She went to go find a key. I was gonna say she went back to the warehouse to try and find <laughs> the key. <laughs> Wait, there's a thing on the floor. What the heck is that? Monkey? Actually, Indeed. no. I think that's a picture of a lamb from... I, I think that's a reference to a game called The Cult of the Lamb, but I could be wrong. That was Alex talking. Why is... Okay. We found the ship, but we need to follow the coordinates. But... Huh. Something happened to the left, Gordon. You mean this? No, maybe she just has dyslexia. <laughs> She's referring to that guy. Well, nothing we can do about him now. There is a uh, game journalism website that wrote a super clickbait article about this mod. I, I don't remember the exact title, but it was something akin to like, Half-Life 2 Episode 3 is out now! <laughs> And d imagine reading that article and then going to the going to the mod DB page and it's just this. Yeah, it wasn't even like a it wasn't even like an April Fool's post. I, it was from it was from a website that was like fairly mainstream too. Not gonna lie, pretty shameful. Buildings are just fake, fake buildings, as you can see. Hey man, all the buildings and openable doors in Leon's uh, Half-Life 3 looked fake. Yeah, did, that's true. Did she just say, let's explore to that place? Grammar is also minimized in this mod. <laughs> it's not incorrect, it's just minimal. She's like, not even here. If we can... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a little bit chunky. Uh-oh, says Alex, like, 50 yards behind you. My turn. Dang it, Gordon, the Combine <laughs> captured us. Wake up on Gurney. Wait, Breen? What, what would, you, would expect? you expect? I am Breen. The, the Combine had used an earlier version that, that I can't read that fast enough and printed to an advisor where I would now live as one of them. I want to tell you that I was a prisoner of the Combine and a tool to continue dominance over the planet. Please, Gordon, end my life. Here, I'll open the gate. There's a shotgun at the right. <laughs> he, just, he just has the dedicated <laughs> shotgun table. He was, it didn't have to be Gordon. He just wanted somebody to show up. Plot twist. No, dang it. Uh oh. Well, that was nice of them to give us all those weapons. Okay, Alex is gone. That's fine. Hey, I recognize this song. It's from the Project Borealis soundtrack. I like these view model animations. Did uh, did he just like download these, or did he make these specifically for the minimalist bot? Because it's they're they're good. Which I mean, it's high quality, but not in the spirit of minimalism. Exactly. That's why I'm confused. Now, random warp points definitely in the spirit of minimalism. <laughs> Orange placeholder models for walls absolutely in the spirit of minimalism. I love orange placeholder textures because there were some really good maps in the Counter-Strike Source days that were entirely these these orange placeholder textures. And the way they reflect the uh, ray traced Source Engine light, uh, baked light, was really nice. 
He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I don't know exactly, like, what this place is supposed to be. <laughs> we killed Breen and now we're just here. And now this is just a serious Sam level segment. And now that the elevator's broken... <laughs> no, Cleo. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Come on, Gordon, let's get back to find Judith. We, we got, got Mossman. Mossman. <laughs> hey, wait, turn around. This looks like that one area from the Destroy the Borealis mod where <laughs> G-Man <laughs> runs off after killing Eli. <laughs> Very dystopian. Gordon, I think that's her at the right. Why is everything at the right? Because if it was at the left, that would be silly. Wait, didn't the mod start with Alex saying at the left? Alex? Gordon, it wasn't the start of the mod, but it, even so, the thing she was pointing at was on the right anyway. Alex, you're not even over here. <laughs> Your actions and betrayal too have had a major impact on the war. I need you to convince Eli had been aware of his cooperation with the combine <laughs> all along. I've been using as an advantage against the dominating alien force. I have had known how it would look to rest resistance that I would be branded as a traitor, but the reward for taking part in such a dangerous mission would give the resistance that advantage they needed. Oh, sorry, but I refuse to believe a single word that you've said. Believe. But, en but enough of your BS. We need to go to the Borealis. We were just there! <laughs> we gotta go back. We gotta find the key. <laughs> we gotta find the key in the warehouse. <laughs> Is it still my turn? Sure. Oh, look, we f we're in the Borealis. It's remarkably boring in here would you mind pressing that button on the left hey it's in. finally on the left in the left in, in the, the left. left it slides <laughs> the end i think you're flying towards the dyson sphere now uh that's not the sphere Oh, I hear things happening. Alex just murdered Mossman. If she did, that would be hilarious. I mean, I heard a gunshot. Why did you do that? Gordon, she's now gone for good. I've turned on the ship into a time-traveling missile. Gordon, we have no chance but to accept our fate. You mean no choice? <laughs> Is that what she said? No, I think she said chance. I was talking to her. I love how Alex always stops following you after like the first two minutes. I know, she's like, I'm right behind you and then just like stand stationary. Oh, hey, we made it. Well, Gordon, it's been a nice journey to the Arctic regions. Sounds like a vacation. You, I recognize you. I interacted with you when I was a child in Black Mesa, and after I've been attacked and almost killed by a hunter, we've had a lot of places to do and people to be. Oh, he was behind us the entire time! <laughs> it would have helped if Alex was looking at him. There is the Dyson Sphere. Wait, turn around just in case there's nothing else, or anything else. Oh, epic music. This is the end theme for Hunt Down the Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> We're slowly approaching. So Alex gets to survive, but we just plummet into the sun. Yeah, that's actually how Epistle 3 ends. So how was your weekend? You know... My girlfriend sent me flying into the sun. <laughs> and she got kidnapped by an interdimensional insurance agent. <laughs> they went to go to look for key keys. 
Man, this ending is so hype. What's gonna happen when we hit the Dyson Sphere? The game just crashes to desktop. That would be super fitting. The front of the ship is being swallowed. Um, Are we being pushed? It's being- the ball is pushing us. Um. Uh, no. Please don't squish. It's... <laughs> ah. Roll credits. Is this where Gordon spends, like, the rest of eternity? <laughs> Odell Cubbage? Where was Cubbage? Where did he show up? Thanks for playing. I'm disappointed he didn't misspell thanks for playing. Okay, that's the whole game. <laughs>